Well, hello, welcome back to my study. What difference does knowing God's word make to real life? What difference does knowing God's word make to real life? Press pause and have a think about that. Now, the reason I asked you that is uh, is this. I think it's very easy for us to uh, be at a church like St Luke's or St Andrew's and think that it's great to know God's word. And, and it's, it's brilliant to be able to have the right answers in, in Bible studies and, and, and to know what God is like uh, and, and to know how much we're loved by him. But I think we need to go a step further than that. And to help us to do that, I wanted to go to Isaiah chapter uh, 28. And uh, let, let's start at, at verse 5. We've just had verse 1 to 4 yesterday, uh, where, where the people uh, had, had the, the people of the northern kingdom had made, had made their own crowns of, of pride, if you like. They thought they were great. Um, and uh, here, though, in verse 5... Listen to this. In that day, the Lord Almighty will be a glorious crown. He will be the crown, a beautiful wreath for the remnant of his people. You see, that God is going to crown himself, if you like, make himself the crown of the people who follow him, of the re his remnants. Here's the difference it's going to make. Verse six, he will be a spirit of justice to the one who sits in judgment, a, a source of strength to those who turn back the battle at the gates. You see, God is going to uh, give to his people and gives to us wisdom and strength, a spirit of justice to judge rightly in all decisions and strength to turn back the battle against sin uh, at the gate. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a great thing, isn't it? it? It means that when we know God, when we know his words, because we know God through his words, when we know God's word and we know God, we, we can make better decisions because God uses his word by his spirit to, to change our hearts, to mould us into the likeness of Christ. And he gives us his strength, doesn't he? Because again, by the power of the Spirit, God gives us strength through his word to live his way. And, and the difference that makes is huge. Uh, Isaiah chapter 25, uh, chapter 28 goes on to, to in, in verse 7 through to 13, to, to talk about the opposite of that. Here we go, verse 7. And those who stagger from wine and reel from beer, priests and prophets, stagger from beer and are befuddled with wine. They reel from beer, they stagger when seeing visions, they stumble when rendering decisions. All the tables are covered with vomit, ugh, and, and there is not a spot without filth. You see, when we don't know God... When, when, when the religious rulers over us, they are our teachers, when, when, when they're going the opposite direction, then everything's confused. I think Isaiah is talking here literally about drunk preachers. But I think uh, more so, uh, he, he, the, the, the truth behind that is, is that they, they lead people into confusion. They're confused. They stagger about. So their physical drunkenness is a sign of their spiritual staggering. Uh, verse nine. Uh, who is who is it he is trying to teach? To whom is he explaining his message? To children weaned from uh, from their milk. To those just taken from from the breast. For it is do this, do that. A rule for this, a rule for that. A little here, a little there. What they say just sounds like this and that. Uh, the, the Hebrew behind that is quite important. There's a footnote in your Bible, maybe. It says this. Uh, the, the Hebrew there is, is, is sav lasav, sav lasav, kav lakav, kav lakav. The footnote says, 
probably meaningless sounds, mimicking the prophet's words. So in other words, what they say is just like blah, 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 blah. Because they have no sense of what God's word says. They're useless. So far from uh, the people being prepared to make right judgments and, and stand strong in the in the face of sin, the people following uh, teachers who don't know God's word are just going to be led into confusion by blah, 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 blah. God's word makes a huge difference, doesn't it? In real, real everyday living. We, we, we're prepared for life by God's word. He gives us good judgment and he gives us strength for everyday living. Let me pray for us. Our Father, thank you that your word really makes a difference in our everyday lives. And we pray that we will be people who, uh, who, who read it and by the power of the Spirit understand it. Please would you cause us to understand what you say. That we would in our everyday lives make good judgments and stand strong in the strength that you provide. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you soon.